this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of August 21st through the 27th. This is for Aries Sun, Aries Moon, and Aries Rising Signs. So Aries, for this reading I am using the Radiant Rider Weight Tarot deck along with the daily guidance from your Angels Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. Aries so at the bottom of the deck okay that's interesting we have the five of cups all right so you actually have an amazing spread Aries you really do you have some great energies to work with uh, the reason I look at the bottom of the deck is because this is an energy that's significant in your life right now so for some of you when I'm filming this this is energy that you're actually working through so some of you are absolutely healing maybe from you know, an emotional situation that you just maybe went through with the Five of Cups, it can be some sort of loss, some sort of heartache. Okay, so when I just lifted the Five of Cups up, I do have death underneath it. So it might have something to do with a Scorpio for some of you, but death is all about endings and then new beginnings, change, transformation. So maybe some of you just went through some sort of loss Maybe a relationship has ended. The Five of Cups can represent regrets as well. It can generally be a down and out sort of energy, someone who's focusing on the past a lot, someone who's focused on the more negative side of things. So some of you might need to be optimistic but the overall energy is actually the star, which is a beautiful healing energy. So some of you are absolutely healing, definitely emotionally healing. So again, with the Five of Cups is an energy that you're working through right now. And with the star, this is actually the overall energy for the week. So you're healing. This is also a very optimistic, hopeful energy. So it's like night and day here. So something could be happening that's inspiring you, that's giving you hope because this is wonderful to have as the overall energy. It's also for me a very spiritual, beautiful, divine energy. So very much being divinely protected and guided. And maybe some of you are even dealing with some divine timing here. And that could even be um, the Five of Cups here. It could explain the Five of Cups energy, which again, Again, it's that more pessimistic energy so when something is taking a long time to manifest this can be you feeling down and out or really focused on the more negative side of things and a little emotional um, so if you are in Aries that has been trying to maybe get something off the ground with death maybe something changing something ending within your life starting something new if that's something that you were trying to manifest you know that can explain the five of cups energy here but something is inspiring you something's giving you hope with the knight of wands here this is some sort of maybe communication or news that's coming in for you. We have the Knight of Wands. I have the Page of Wands here. So this is some sort of communication or news or information that maybe is inspiring you here. Now, with the Knight of Wands, you also might be traveling this week. Travel could be very significant. Uh, you also could be getting into a relationship. There could be some Aries that I'm reading for that maybe you're getting into a new relationship. So some of you certainly could have ended a relationship. Maybe you just got out of a relationship, but maybe you're getting into a new relationship here. And with the Knight of Wands energy, you know, this is some very fast moving energy. So if you are getting into a new relationship here, this actually might be happening very, very quickly. So just know that sometimes with the Knight of Wands, it can be happening a little bit too quickly. Um, but we have the Fool and then we also have the Two of Cups here. So some of you are definitely getting into a relationship here and it could be happening very, very quickly. Um, with the Fool here, walking out on a new path, maybe taking that, that risk or that leap of faith and going for it for some of you with the two of cups, getting into that, that relationship, that partnership. If it's not on the love front, I mean, this could be some of you getting into a business relationship as well. But there's a relationship, there's a, there's a partnership here that's very significant this week. 
for me, the Two of Cups isn't always just romantic. It can represent your relationship with a friend, a family member, someone that you're growing closer with or someone that you're getting to know more here. Um, some of you could even be traveling to see this person or this whole experience could be happening very quickly. And with the Six of Cups here, you know, this is quite interesting because if this is a, a, a business partnership, I see this as something that's, that's actually really good. Really good. I think it's going to benefit you. So if you are walking down that new path and you're taking that, that risk or that leap of faith, go for it. Um, listen to your intuition. But I see this as something that's very good for you, especially for those of you that it's a business partnership. But on the romantic front... You know, you guys actually might really balance each other out. The Two of Cups is reciprocated love. But here with the Six of Pentacles here, this relationship in some way, it actually might help to balance things out in your life. You actually might really complement one another here. Um, with the Ten of Pentacles, potentially this could be a relationship that even leads to marriage. For me, this is this is one of my marriage cards. Um, but this is really having it all. Having it all. Of course, this is financial abundance. But also for me, this is a card that represents family, can represent marriage. So you, for some areas, you certainly could be getting into uh, a long-term partnership. Maybe someone you're going to marry or someone that you're going to start a family with. For other Aries, for those of you that are already partnered, you and your partner could be moving in together with the Ten of Pentacles and then the Chariot. And the Chariot is actually mirroring the Knight of Wands here. So travel's definitely in the cards for many of you this week. Now you and your partner could be moving in together. You and your partner could be moving house. Um, with the Chariot, this is amazing. This is that very empowering energy you're in the driver's seat Aries and and you have a lot of power here there could be a decision that's needed here so maybe you're looking at two different paths that you can go down so for some of you you're maybe choosing the direction that you want to go in and and moving forward optimistically here with the page of wands that communication is coming in you're hearing something I think it's really exciting for many of you. And with the Empress, you're you're giving birth to something wonderful, something that's going to be incredibly rewarding for you. For you, for your partnership. This is this is pretty amazing. Uh, on the business front and financially, with the Ten of Pentacles here and the Empress, this is a lot of financial abundance. So I see some of you moving towards um, just feeling maybe more balanced financially. If you were in Aries that was waiting like on a loan to get approved, something like that, you could actually have a loan that's being approved this week and, and now you're moving house or preparing to move house for some of you. And then for some other Aries with the Empress here, this is that very fertile energy. So if you're an Aries that has wanted to start a family or you've been trying to expand your family, definitely, definitely give it a go this week uh, because this is that, that amazing fertile energy. So some of you definitely could be getting pregnant. Um, for other Aries, this could be a woman, this could be your mother, this could be a woman around you that's very, very significant. Maybe you're traveling to see this woman. If you were an Aries that was waiting on a woman, some sort of decision or communication um, from a woman, you might be hearing that news this week. And there even could be a small group of Aries that maybe your mom is moving in with you. Your mom could be moving in with you, um, definitely. Uh, you could be spending more time with, with your mother. You could be spending more time with family this week for some of you, absolutely. 
But as you can see here, Aries, I mean, you have some amazing energies to work with. Um, there's a lot going on. For some of you, this will be things happening very quickly. Uh, the Chariot is a card of victory and success sitting next to this Ten of Pentacles, absolutely. Um, so some of you are maybe moving house, some of you are moving towards this maybe financial um, uh, abundance, the status definitely for some of you. You might even be a, a business owner and your business could absolutely be taking off. Uh, the star here is also a wish card, so there could be some Aries that you know, this, there's this wish that's coming true for you. And some of you are definitely starting some new beginnings here, but it really could be happening very quickly. Maybe you are in Aries that maybe something has just ended, but you're now moving forward down a new path. And this is, as you can see, just some amazing energies to work with. Let me pull you an additional guidance card, additional guidance for Aries. What else does Aries need to know? Please show me. Aries. What else does Aries need to know for this upcoming week? And we do have a new moon, Aries. I believe it's on the 21st. So set those new moon intentions. Um, whatever it is that you're manifesting. Uh, expand on that you know it's a great time to set those intentions all right so we have three cards here I thought it was two so I flipped it over um, but you actually have three so you have a lot of additional guidance for this week Aries we actually have perfect timing now is the perfect moment for you to act on your inspirations the doors are open while you walk through them with us by your side don't delay or procrastinate as all the ingredients are ripe for your success everything and everyone is on your side supporting your positive outcome I mean, this is just a beautiful confirmation. It is now the perfect time for you to move forward, for you to take this leap of faith. You need to have confidence. Moving forward does not necessarily require for you to have confidence in yourself. Confidence in God is enough, along with knowing that God works through you and with you in all ways. Lean upon us if your confidence wavers, and we will... We will buy your, your courage and faith, and faith, excuse me. So you need to have confidence as you walk down this new path. But they are inspiring you absolutely to move forward, Aries. This is wonderful. And then we also have, there's nothing to worry about. You are safe and this situation is under the perfect control of divine providence and universal order. Only infuse loving thoughts and emotions into this situation to ensure that the highest possible outcome flows effortlessly to and through you. There's nothing to worry about. So some of you, that's exactly what this is. Maybe worrying, but this is confirming that there's nothing to worry about here. Uh, I would say that you guys definitely um, have the best forecast for this week. This is just an amazing reading. I hope that you found it helpful, Aries. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please be sure to subscribe because I do upload weekly and monthly tarot forecast. Over on Vimeo, I do also offer the love tarot forecast. And on Facebook and Instagram, I do also draw and upload a daily Oracle Guidance card every single day. So if that's something that you're interested in, please check me out over there. And if you are interested in receiving a private reading from me, please head on over to northeasttarot.com. I do wish you all just a wonderful week, Aries. Take care.